Well, the latest chapter in the battle between preservation and new development on Music Row is heating up again. Now some are rallying to say part of the neighborhood's history. News Channel 5's Emily Luxon is live on Music Row. And Emily, what spots are going to be impacted? Well, this portion of 16th Avenue South, where I'm standing right now, that includes five buildings, including Bobby's Idle Hour Tavern right here behind me. Now, a developer is considering this site for an office building, but some in this neighborhood say the tavern is an iconic Nashville spot that needs to be saved. In an unassuming building in the heart of Music Row is a piece of Nashville history. This place has uh, got more stories to tell than people have time to listen to. Bobby's Idle Hour Tavern has been showcasing local songwriters and live music for decades, making it a popular hangout for locals and a must-see spot for tourists. It's got so much character to it, and you don't get places like this anymore. As a bartender for 20 years, Jonathan Long says the music and people make Bobby's a special place. This was here long before the, the skyline and the football and the hockey and everything else. This was, this was Nashville. Now, Panatoni Development Company is proposing a new office building at the site, which would mean Bobby's would be torn down. The possibility has energized preservationists and neighbors who want to save the tavern. This neighborhood's unified behind one thing, the preservation of the character. Many times that means saving a building. As the founder of the Music Row Neighborhood Association, John Dotson has witnessed big changes in the area and says finding a balance between the old and new is an ongoing challenge. There's a lot of heart here for people who want to do the right thing and everybody's taking their time and having the conversations. Jonathan hopes a compromise can be reached and the music and memories will continue at Bobby's. I'd like to see it saved. It'd be great to see it saved. The developer says they always plan to meet with neighborhood groups to get input on projects, and they will be sharing more details on this particular project at a public meeting tomorrow. That will be at 6 p.m. at the Edge Hill United Methodist Church. Reporting live on Music Row, Emily Luxon, News Channel 5.